what is going on this is just something we have created ourselves mm. nobody gives a fuck yeah about good character fuck your good character and that's that's uh, there's actually something that said for especially our, our city in Nairobi nuskango kifka Nairobi but in Nairobi it's actually a say yeah nobody gives a fuck if you're nice here this is Nairobi and that is a mentality we have created and what has it what has it born for us I say it's just a place of vampire skill I'm trying to try to reach each other at any cost at any cost and that's what we call being smart today yeah being smart is being is being it, ruthless being, no you see being ruthless does not mean you are a bad person no not that true that's but true. but the vampire mentality uko ina maanisha ni ile Julius Nyerere alisema ya Kenya we are a man in a man society mm. we will finish you at any cost as long as we get it it's in the politics it's in the business it's in the relationships society ya Kenya inaenda i mean we are just walking vampires na hapo juu young people wana grow up wakiona hii swala na wazazi wao wanaona wazazi wao wajali so they grow up with no guidance with no morals wanatoka huko nje hustle grind upate hiyo do get mtu wa fulfill needs zako wewe chapa alafu endelea ku hustle grind with nothing society in Asia and we don't see it the people who see it maybe are too few it may not make a difference nobody wants to wake up nobody wants to say this has been working we see evil at every turn and we don't stand and say hey stop no to that we celebrate the things that should never be celebrated we celebrate men who are around women who are around people who kill each other as long as they come out here to the public and show us it's a bit of fun and then we're like yeah, yeah we want to be that guy yeah that's not a quota again how many politicians were in here in between 2013 2017 who are young people bao alikuwa ngana nothing waliingia on the promises like the old guys when you want to test our end and we'll do things right the minute they got in they became the same guys the same guys see and they start mentality because they did not change while they were in there mm. they did not change in parliament in county assemblies they were like this from the time that they were the with us mm. you know this this reminds me of sicario yeah I don't know if you watched the first one. Yeah, yeah. There was that ending, that ending part where the attorney, mm. the guy who works for the Black Ops, yeah, uh, whose wife and daughter was killed. killed yeah. When he comes to that drug dealer's house, and then he sits at the table, mm. when with all of them the eating, kikula, sapa, and then yeah, and then the, the 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 drug dealer goes like, who do you think taught us? Nani alitimzisha kuwa hivi? Wale watu, wale watu wamekutu. The same people who have sent you here yeah. to fundish is are the ones who taught us. And then the nigga goes like it's nothing personal. Mm. But he understands, he knows it's personal. Yeah. Cuz the minute he knows. the minute you touch a person's family, it personal. becomes personal. Yeah. And then the nigga goes like hey, it is for me. Yeah. What does he do? He kills the the nigger's kids and why you keep front of his eyes the kids kwanza our own name the kids kwanza wow mm. then the wife mm-hmm. and then he sits there for a moment yeah. and lets it sink in Mama, I lewe. Dude, I that moment explains modern times perfectly mm. perfectly because this perpetuation can only be de- can only be ended by our society hitting a harder place that is moving the same what what our society needs is for all of us collectively collectively to me is so bad mm. to say me never again mm. and this is this thing is only possible at that level for society to change and the, the only example that we may know that mm. the only that has happened in recent times is Rwanda mm-hmm. Rwanda is the only country in you have recent yes where by one tribe one major tribe mm. killed another semi major tribe so bad hadi wale watu wenye walikuwa wanaoana wakashanga tumefanya hivi mm. na wale watu waliwawa wale walibaki wakasema we are going to forgive because if we start fighting we all die mm. and Rwanda remains with no one unajua mm. deno mazuri only that only, mm. only, only that mm. can make people wake up and change that's you unajua if 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 you, the only way mm. and this this will, this will sound dark it's just a conversation The only way we can hit a major reset like that mm. in our society now mm. is if we have such a major event happen mm. 
the society ceases to run the way it does. Yeah. Even for a couple of and years and, it and it costs everyone. You see, here yes. we have 42 tribes. If it ends up costing every tribe, every social demographic, every class, mm. middle, upper, lower, mm. if everyone ends up, if it ends up costing all of them, a sufficient proportion, a killer demographic, class, tribe, mm. hierarchy, gender, mm. if it costs them enough, opportunity. Imagine like we're saying this, but the truth of matter is it's so hard to change but unless people just hear the message and say no, no. on an individual level. No, I'm going to do it. Let's let's be honest. Let, let's be brutally honest. That will never happen. You see now, everything. The it human never, condition doesn't work. It will like never that. work. It will never work on a right scale. But if small pockets of people here, there, here, there, just say, hey, by the way, I need to do this. Now pole pole, we find in a way with the shayako. You know, just like that. Mm. There may be some hope, not for us now. Maybe for our future generation. For the, for the future generation. Yeah. The, only, the only thing that can happen with us is if we get another another pandemic like Corona, only this time it it, it, it finishes people in it finishes people. Bad. That would be the only in that, fact, that's the only thing that would make Kenyans wake up. Not even Kenyans, bro. The whole fucking world. But see that would Dude, coronavirus swept around the planet in how long? How long did it take it? How, how now, if we imag- no, I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying, now if we imagine, if you got corona, you died today. Yeah. You know right now, the world would be facing such a catastrophic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. amount of death. It, yeah. We would even have to overhaul how we do everything. Yes. That would be the only way, because the human condition is just like, we, we, we forget we are. We are, we are animals and the only way animals learn about hey, that place is dangerous how do you think they learn some about of them died. violence or some of you a few of you died when they went there yeah. you ain't going there. yeah now the only way we will change all this will have a real shit mm. we imagine if half the population dies had died you think we'll be out here yelling as in as in i don't know what ati tafuta sponsor tafuta ati Hit now when you think that's what we'll be talking about? Talk about? You think people will be talking about the economy? You think people will be talking about how we have a top one percent? There will be no top one percent. And I kid you not, all the people would be in the streets like yo, we ain't doing that shit anymore. Yeah. Meskia. They, a nigga they doesn't doesn't we them. roll up on a nigga. Yeah. EU Jinga Doilifanya, I lost half my family. Yeah. We are not going to do nigga. That's what happened in what what I wanna be love. Because we'll make family. We would have entered that that level it's survival of survival or extinction. That causes a species to come, to come together, together yeah. like that. Yeah. And if someone doesn't want to do that, they're cast out. Yeah. They know jokes in nature. Mm-hmm. But because we have this, it, it's like a bloated, a bloated balloon that keeps filling with water. And since it's never burst, mm. people are like, ah, I think it's good. Yeah. Well, no, no, even, uh, and and uh, I think Corona was like a tiny prick yeah. that just let out a bit of water. Yeah. And then people are like, people held their breath. And the, ah. the, the, the gap seal. Oh! <laughs> and then it So it's, it's, it's the philosophies we are getting yeah. fed. Yeah. Yes and no, because mm. even the people who are perpetuating this rubbish, all these things that we are talking about that we know are not good for us. At one point or another, they come and they think and go like, "No, this is not sustainable. This is not good. Mm. I wouldn't want this to happen to my daughter, to my son. Mm. I wouldn't want this to happen to me." But at the end of the day, they're like, oh, "Fuck it. Let me get that." It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, you're selling drugs. You're killing kids. Mm. Hey, hey. If it wasn't me, it would be someone. Else. I'm telling you, there's a point where that drug dealer, his niece or nephew, dies from mm. the same drug. They goes like, "Shit." What if it was my son? I wouldn't want that. Will I stop doing drugs? Those Fuck no. I'll just make sure I take my son to yeah. the best school yeah. by making the most money yeah. and taking my son out of this world where I'm killing him. You see, that's individualism. It spreads a bit more to cover your family. And everyone else, like you see, everyone else doesn't matter. Yeah. If it were, if it were your nephew, you you extend the line a bit more, put them in put them in rehab, mm. try to get them straight. But everyone else again. 
it does a lot. Don't so you think? If if you, I, I I I I will hit at the Bible a little bit, yeah. because uh, there there are some stories I like about the Bible that explain uh, human nature perfectly. In in the book of Genesis, we are told that God created this utopia mm. where man didn't have any need for food. So if if you delve delve deeper into that mm. and think about it psychologically, yeah. Yeah, this 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 was a human being that had achieved nirvana or had achieved mm. the the perfect the perfect, perfect state yes yeah. of being a human being yeah. and then when they fucked up and they took the the fruit of knowledge mm. you can you can disagree with me if you want mm. about that but let's let's say it's a, it's a fruit of knowledge mm. that showed them okay even though you're living so good there's this other side this nigga tell you mm. okay what is in that other side is it something good that you want to find out for yeah. yourself yeah now the nigga is like okay after taking the fruit of of, of knowledge mm. nigga is like okay, i'm good now but but there's it is something I, more it's there what, what doesn't this nigga want me to go there yeah is this nigga holding shit is this nigga holding shit i want more shit yeah i think that's where it happened yeah if we use the pipe yeah that is that was the first time True. man went like okay look poor uh she's kid ja i can talk to animals i have a great wife i have a great wife i don't have to wear clothes i have a relationship with god but why this nigga i dig shit for yeah. me i want that shit i want that <laughs> <thing to tell. laughs> dude yeah. that is where it began and the bible the bible did it so perfectly because yeah. once adam and eve were kicked out mm-hmm. and they went to the wilderness they had to, to toil and shit do you know they had to perpetuate mm-hmm. the fact that hey this is good yeah this is this is better even <clears throat> well to be fair to be fair think, think about to be it fair, the yeah. attitudes mm. the attitudes were repentant mm-hmm. but later generations came out and if the bible doesn't go deeper into that but if you really think about it let's say we are born now mm. we have um our forefather our fourth forefather mm. so we are the fifth generation mm-hmm. and you know he's still alive yeah in in that context mm-hmm. so we come around and with our families and we go and listen to adam and adam is saying hey mazay you guys things were amazing mm. i mean they say they seem hard now but they were but good now but they were amazing mm-hmm. we had all this mm. we had to talk face to face with god and then we messed up mm. and then the kids are like Hey, we are done to Zaya and she never got to say. Still born at my story as make fanya nini because you know we don't know what the hell is talking about. No. Kila siku anashindanga tu kusema you guys repent, be good to God, mm. don't do the wrong thing. Usana to ambia ni. Alafu tena mtu wa kekein aliendanga ka akawa Abel. And now and now he's trying to tell us what is a bit. He ain't know what he's talking about. So then we have Nimrod. And I Nimrod and I look and I'm like kusema hey forget this for far you know no not mm. in terms of land 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 terms of kingdom in the babylon mm. and mean that god say mean that god hapo what are you a mean now it's so just so so in, 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 in a way problem. in a way mm. after that it's like man was was on a race mm. to to equal god in a place that it can never happen it can't happen of course how how can they how can they create it if, if, if you look at it from the biblical context mm. how can they create an equal the creator it can never happen. it can never but happen. what do you see men doing today on this planet you know they're trying yes. to prove that's the opposite mm. and it, you know the weirdest thing about how they think they they, they can prove it mm. by treating all the other humans who are like them like shit like shit yeah What's and it's and that's what we're saying the, the human, human condition, condition is so fascinating and <laughs> this this applies to all of us yeah and it, th- that story about Cain and Abel mm. it's, it's 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 actually the first time uh i think the the the, the raw nature mm. of man show mm-hmm. because after that it's happened continuously of time, continuously mm. yeah. from generation to generation you are born you are, you you find that you guys are good but there are guys who are better so you yeah. like, but this nigga yeah. if they can, if you cannot reach there will bring we them to us them out yeah and i think it is part of who we, we are to a, to a, to a, to a point where the only way we can keep it at bay mm. is if we are hurt so bad mm-hmm. that uh, strong enough leaders rise from the ashes who don't put up with that shit. that is the only way to curb the human condition 
with slang, not with words, not by kowtowing to everyone or rubbing everyone in the back. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so you like small kids? We, we will understand and we will try and empathize and we will create a school for you yeah. where we can tell you, no, no, stay away from the kids. Mm. And then if that doesn't work, we'll take you to therapy. But if a strong leader is there, like, yo, Put that guy in chains. Yeah. Take that nigga's head. No. Anyone else like kids? Take and a therapy you sort. If you can't sort. Nah. This this is where I, I disagree. <laughs> I will go harm on this. Yeah. Nigga, I never used to hear the amount of pedos in yeah. the seventies and sixties. Yeah, yeah. Like we have now. And in the seventies and sixties, uh people used to take it upon themselves. People, people used to them. to sort this shit out. Yeah. And who do you think sorted this shit out? And they even they even made movies about this yeah. shit. There were movies that were made in a way that actually congratulated men mm. who did what needed to be done. They dealt with people who were against societal morals, laws, Dude, uh, how many acceptable movies, conduct. How many, how many movies are we seeing where yeah. some renegade rolls into town, kills the fucking male who's been treating people like shit, and then he leaves people yeah, talking know. about if what he did was good or not. Yeah. But they're all great now. Yeah. The kids are playing in the street. The women are one adi and they are smiling and they are like, hey, that, what that nigga did was wrong. Yeah. Like when they turn the bus. Yeah, that's, that's a fucking <laughs> When did we stop doing that? When he decided to coddle everyone. When everything became relative. Yeah. Eh?